Howdy everybody, welcome back to Out Number Barbecue. One of the best barbecue spots in the Houston area is Kellen's Barbecue. They're on the Texas Monthly Top 50 list. I recreated their brisket. Let me show you how I did it. First, I'll trim up this 13 pound brisket from HEB. Basically, just remove all these big chunks of fat, trim down this fat to about a quarter of an inch all the way around, give it a nice aerodynamic shape, and it's ready to go. For seasoning, I'll be using Killen's Barbecue Salt and Pepper Blend and their barbecue rub. I'll start with a light layer of this salt and pepper blend on the bottom. We'll do a light layer on top and we'll finish with that barbecue rub. Killen's barbecue rub is mostly brown sugar with a little bit of chipotle pepper. Not at all spicy, but it does give it a nice smoky kick. Check out the links in the description below if you want to order this rub. Now it's all seasoned up, let's get it out on the pit. I'll be cooking at 250 degrees the entire cook. And now all there is to do is just sit back and enjoy the morning. And here we are after four hours. Color is looking good, bark is set. Now I'll start spritzing with a 50-50 mix of apple cider vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. And after about eight hours, reached an internal temperature of 175 degrees color looks good. Let's go ahead and pull it off the pit and we'll wrap it up. Now it's back on the pit until it's probe tender and it's reached an internal temperature about 200 degrees. I pulled the brisket when it was about 202 degrees. It's been resting on this countertop for about an hour and a half. 
it's down to an internal temperature 163 degrees. Next step is to put in this turkey roaster, set at 150 degrees for about the next 12 hours. And to soften up any crispy edges, I'll go ahead and pour on some of this melted beef tallow. Now I'll see you back in 12 hours. Now here we are the next day. Let's go ahead and open up the turkey roaster. Let's get its internal temp, see how well this thing works. About 152 degrees. That's perfect. Now let's slice it up and see how we did. Definitely don't forget that leftover beef tallow. I'll start with taking a couple of slices off the lean side. Still juicy, not overcooked. Now I'll take a couple of slices, we'll see how juicy it is. Take this slice right down the middle. Juicy, nice and tender. And here's the point section. Nicely rendered fat, looks pretty good. Let's take a slice out of this point section. Yep, really good looking fatty point section of brisket. Still juicy, nice texture. Let's get a couple of slices of these burn ends. There it is, best bite on the brisket. Nice and juicy still. Let's take a bite. Wow, that's really good. You definitely get a peppery smokiness from those chipotle peppers and the Killen's barbecue rub. Well, that's my version of Killen's brisket. Be sure to hit that like button and thanks for watching.